big hand for Zane Bank.
Well, that was nice of you. Uh, Hollis, has he got a hot mic there? You, you talk on the mic, don't you? I think you got yeah, it. It's, it's hot now. Yeah, okay. It wasn't a while ago. I couldn't get it. Come on. Yeah, jamming at Scotty's there. We, uh, I don't believe it. You're going to have to tell me, Scotty, we did it. Uh, a band left St. Louis at, at in midnight. We drove to Nashville. We met Zane at a restaurant, had breakfast, went to a studio, and we cut Zane Beck meets Bobby Caldwell, an album. We cut that, mixed it down, and was out of the studio with the master tape in three and a half hours now. That's right. That's right. Now, that's got to be a record. Julian Thorpe didn't miss it far when we cut Jet Age. Uh, we arranged all the horn parts, cut it, mixed it down, was out in six. So that's not too bad there either. Sure isn't. What you got next? You are so beautiful. Oh, that's lovely.
That's just about as smooth as you'd ever want to hear. Zane, that was pretty. Nice, man. Good. I wish and uh, you can buy it for my tuning or E9. He's got it diagrammed out for both tunings. And uh, this tune I wrote, he put it on the album. It's called Beckon It.
we've got a tune here that we play three parts on, and uh, Garland plays. He's a steel player, by the way, and a good one, and guitar player. And uh, Duke's going to come up and play bass with us on this one. I've heard that for a joke many times. I've heard Caldwell say, well, we're going to play C, jam, and B flat. They always play it in C, but you are actually playing it in B flat now.
Couple? I hope that. Come on. Fourteen. It's got an album out, got instruction material out. It's going to get unplugged before the day's over, I can tell you that if it keeps it up. Fourteen. You're going to have to get a little bit more acquainted with that little 